Lucas Media. We got news coming out of the boxing world. Now that Earl Spence is going to fight Sebastian Fondor in October, which people believe is going to be in Dallas, people you've had us fans wonder whether or not he's going to fight Terrence Crawford after that. Terrence Crawford has an upcoming bout for the WBA belt, and Earl is going to be fighting for the WBC and WBO belt. Well, this is where we have an interesting twist because now the WBO they came out and backed Terrence Crawford and said that they're going to strip Sebastian Fandora if he doesn't fight Terrence Crawford next due to the fact that Terrence Crawford is the mandatory with him being the champion at 147 pounds. So we'll see if the WBO enforces it and how Terrence Crawford get the belt if he's able to get him. But Earl, Earl has posted that he this may be his last time fighting. And, you know, some people say this may be mind games and, you know, you want to sell a fight, which may be true. But I honestly think that Earl might be done. He's going to go better against Sebastian Fandor, somebody who's not a walkover. And it looked like it's going to be a tough scrap for either one of the fighters. And we also seen how Earl took a lot of punishment the last fight. We don't know if he'll be the same as he was before he got in the ring with a... Uh, Terrence Bud Crawford and he, he really may be done you know like I always say boxing is is it's always a business first and there was a lot of politicking going on even to where he had to come out and voice that he wanted to fight Terrence Crawford next when his team did not want him to fight Terrence Crawford if ever or they wanted to stall it out for another three to four years but you never know what's going on you know Earl and Derek James have had this rift you never know that might be a factor doing that i believe earl ben Madera james says he was around 15 years old so you got that going on and like i said the other politics and you know you become a champion but are you gonna be able to fight crawford is the is it too many politics as far as like the pbc and now crawford's with turk Al sheik the pbc may not let earl fight crawford remember after the fight earl's like yeah i'm running back the rematch and then we never got it. He ended up getting eye surgery. I heard there was a lot of playing games going on. And then next thing you know, Terrence Crawford said he good. But then you hear rumors coming out that there may not be no money with the PBC. So who knows? Who knows what's going on? Um, I am looking forward to this fight. Uh, and then we'll see if, like I said, if, if Earl is this WBC champion or whatever, right? With those belts. And one more thing, we really don't know how, they, how one of these fighters are going to be at 154 pounds. They're going up against bigger opponents, opponents who's looking at them like smaller guys. And you don't, you're not going to see people intimidated like how they was at 147 or even 140, 135 with Terrence Crawford. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it again. He may retire, he may not. Uh, I'm sure if the money is right, he ain't going to retire. But boxing is changing. It is changing. And you see that it's... it's it's no longer, the U.S. is no longer number one. It's been so many games, but you see the people over in Riyadh, they just come together and be like, look, how much y'all need? And you see Queensberry and Matchroom coming together and all these other promoters. But I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.